And it is your most accurate look at current conditions and currently we are dry outside and we expect it to stay that way overnight and probably during the day tomorrow too. Meanwhile, the remnants of Florence up here, as you can see, located very close to Morgantown, West Virginia, continuing to move northeastward. Lots of rain still associated with it and a couple of these bands and this northern one really led to trouble this afternoon, generating a few tornadoes. There were 16 tornado reports. I don't think there were that many tornadoes, but there probably were two or three of them. In any event tonight, these bands are not severe anymore, but they're still making for some pretty heavy rain in parts of South Carolina and up in Virginia as well. Tuscaloosa overnight getting down to 75 degrees by about two in the morning. 73 first thing tomorrow morning, kind of hazy then hot and oppressive tomorrow afternoon and 93 degrees. The Hot weather continues. We're running about eight to nine degrees above average for this time of the year now. 77 in Tuscaloosa and Birmingham and Alabaster, 78 in Brent, 79 just barely below, or I should say 76 degrees in Clanton. Uh, it feel like temperatures when you combine the temperature and the humidity, barely below 80 in the Magic City. Same thing in Alabaster, about 79 in Brent too, 78 in Tuscaloosa. 72 in Pell City, so it's warm out there and it's going to be another hot day tomorrow. In fact, we don't really see an end to this. I don't see any signs of any autumn like weather coming up anytime soon. First thing in the morning, 71 degrees in Birmingham, 72 by 7 a.m., 81 degrees by 9, getting to near 90 by lunchtime tomorrow. As we go through the overnight period, the moisture associated with what's left of Florence will continue to pull away. We'll start off tomorrow sunny, just a slight chance of a shower in the afternoon. Most spots should be rain free. Same thing holds for Wednesday. My seven day forecast looking like this tomorrow and Wednesday hot once again 93 for highs with a good supply of sunshine about 92 on Thursday. We'll call it about a one in five chance of a shower come Friday afternoon in 91. We'll stay at 91 Saturday through the weekend into early next week with 30% rain chances each afternoon. Again, no sign of anything resembling autumn. It looks like for most of the rest of the month of September. Guy